Hey everyone, welcome back to the RC F16 build. Today I'll be getting the build started with the horizontal stabilizer and the removable portion of the lower fuselage. I didn't mention this previously, but a portion of the lower fuselage will be removable. This will give me access to the EDF and the ESC. Building these parts is going to be a bit of an experiment. When modeling them in Fusion 360, the frame and rib spacings I chose were just educated guesses based on my past experiences with the fiberglass I'll be using. I'm planning to use just one ply of 6 ounce per square yard fiberglass for the skins. I won't know whether or not I'll need to add extra plies or adjust the frame and rib spacing until I build the parts. To make sure the layups don't stick, I'll prepare the surfaces of the molds with this car wax that I had laying around. I'll apply four coats. For the fiberglassing, I'll be doing a wet layup using West System 105 Epoxy Resin and 205 Fast Hardener. I did a test run with this setup for the plane's nose. The only issue I had was some of the primer detached from the mold and stuck to the skins. This isn't too much of a problem though, since I can easily sand it off later. I suspect the primer didn't adhere well to the molds because I didn't sand the surfaces of the nose molds before spraying the primer. To try and prevent this problem from happening again, I made sure to sand the surfaces of all the remaining molds before priming. Let's see how it goes. Just finished doing all the layups. As I mentioned earlier, I chose to use the 205 fast hardener, but I'm gonna actually have to get the extra slow hardener because halfway through the layups, I had to mix a new batch because the initial batch I mixed was starting to cure really fast in the cup. So it was getting really thick and it was too hard to work with and it wasn't really soaking into the fiberglass. In the meantime, while I let these cure, I'm gonna get started on the frames, spars, and ribs.
Unfortunately, it seems like sanding the molds before priming them didn't actually help keep the primer attached to the molds. Pretty much all the horizontal stabilizer primer got stuck to the skins. However, the fuselage came out great. No primer came off. And for the inlet ducts, pretty good as well. Just a little bit of flakes here or there. Now I'm still unsure why the primer is detaching from the molds. I have a couple theories. One might be that it was very humid on the day that I sprayed the horizontal stabilizer molds, so maybe that affected the way the primer cured. I think it was much hotter and drier when I sprayed the lower fuselage, so maybe that helped it cure better. Another reason I suspect is that the wax is not intended for matte paint, so I wonder if the wax is soaking up into the primer really well and it's just making the primer really soft. But anyways, let's go ahead and start getting all the frames and spars and ribs glued in place. So the parts have finished curing with the internal wood structure in place and I'm really happy with how they came out, especially the lower fuselage here. Having the inlet duct on the inside and the skins on the outside, both with a lot of curvature, creates a really stiff structure. And the frames do a great job of keeping the skins pretty stiff. When I poke on them with my finger, there's very little deflection I get out of it. For the horizontal stabilizer, the skins are much flatter, so there isn't as much curvature to help with stiffness but it looks like the internal structure does a good job of keeping the skins pretty stiff. It's a little bit more flexible than the fuselage skins, but still pretty stiff. 
I think it'll be good enough for the project. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned how these parts were going to be somewhat of an experiment to determine if I can get away with just using one ply of the fiberglass and if I was going to have to adjust the, the spacing of the frames and the ribs inside. But with how well these parts came out and how I'm really happy with how stiff the overall structure and the skins are, it looks like I'll be able to continue the project on as planned with just one ply of fiberglass and the frame and rib spacing that I chose. The last thing I'll do in this video here is install a control horn into this horizontal stabilizer. Stay tuned for the next video as I'll be getting started with the vertical fin. Thanks for watching and see you next time.